I came across this powerful story recently and had to share it with you all. Now, although this story illustrates disgusting and unforgivable experiments on animals that no one should approve of, there are great lessons to learn. And those lessons are the power of belief and the power of your mind. Understand this, giving up in life is a choice. You decide how far you go in life by the thoughts you continue to feed your own mind. Believe in yourself and you can achieve far more than even you thought possible. Anything is possible when you believe in yourself. Anything is possible when you have faith. Listen closely. Here's the story. It says, during a brutal study at Harvard in the 1950s, Dr. Kurt Richard placed both domesticated and wild rats in a pool of water to test how long they survived by swimming around before they gave up. The difference between the results of the domesticated and wild rats was astonishing. The domesticated rats could swim around for 40 to 60 hours on average, but the wild rats would give up and sink to their death after 15 minutes. They were the same breed of rat. The only difference was one group was domesticated and one wild. They came to the conclusion the deaths were more psychological than physical. They gave up mentally, not physically. In further experiments with the same breed of wild rats, they tried something different. They put them in the water, but right before they gave up due to exhaustion, the researchers would take them out, hold them for a little while, dry them off, let them rest for a few minutes, and put them back in for a second round. How long do you think they last at this time? Remember, they had just swam into failure only a few short minutes ago. They were saved by the researchers before a certain death. They had given up on life. How long do you think they lasted? Another 15 minutes? 10 minutes? Five minutes? No. On average, they lasted 40 to 60 hours, the same as the domesticated group. That's not an error. From giving up after 15 minutes, they were then able to go 40 to 60 hours. The conclusion drawn was that since the rats believed that they would eventually be rescued, they could push their body past what they previously thought of as impossible. Before they gave up hope after 15 minutes, this time they had hope, so they kept going. In the summary of the study it says, a phenomenon of sudden death has been described that occurs in man, rats, and many other animals apparently as a result of hopelessness. Sudden death occurs when we lose hope. We die inside when we lose hope. If you don't believe you are capable, you are not capable. If you do believe you are capable, anything is possible. If you believe the negative voices within and around you that say you can't, you can't and you won't. If you connect with the winner that is inside you and believe you can, it's only a matter of time until you do. I will leave you with this thought. If hope can cause exhausted rats to swim for that long, how different would your life be if you started believing in yourself and having faith you will achieve whatever it is you wish to achieve. Never forget what you're capable of. Never forget why you're here. Never forget the power of your beliefs and never, ever lose hope.